Welcome back. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a hole on a cylindrical face. Let's begin by creating a reference plane. Go to Reference Geometry and select Plane. I'll select this face, offset by 25 millimeters, tab to register, check flip direction if needed, and accept. Now let's right click on our plane and insert a sketch. Take a normal two view, and let's create a couple of lines now. Here's my first line, and the second line. Let's smart dimension them. 45 degrees. Okay, let's create two points here now. And escape to exit the tool. Let's select this point, control select this line and this line, apply an intersection relation. And let's select this point, control select this line and this line, and apply another intersection relation. Let's exit our sketch and take an isometric view. Let's hide our plane now. Right click on plane one and click on the glasses. Now let's activate the hole wizard. I'm going to use the default hole type, that's the countersunk hole. Let's go to the positions tab. I intend to create a 3D sketch here and I can do so by clicking this 3D sketch button. I can also select any non-planar face. Now even though I've selected this cylindrical face, my hole doesn't have to originate from it. I can place my hole right here, let's say, and a second hole right here. Let's just unselect the point tool. Now I'll grab this point and drag to this point until you see the coincident relation glyph and then let the mouse go. Before placing another hole, let's create another reference plane. Let's go back to reference geometry, select plane, select this curve and this point. Okay. And let's bring up the hole wizard again. Once again, I'm going to use the default hole type, so let's go to the positions tab. And I'll place my hole at this point. Let me select this face now. Take a normal two view. Let's just add some head clearance, maybe 0.5 millimeters. And let's click accept. Let's also add some head clearance to our first hole. Right click and edit that. Let's scroll down to head clearance, check it. Let's make it one millimeter, tap to register. And let's click accept. So for my first hole, I have a 3D positioning sketch. For my second hole, I'm using a 2D positioning sketch. So there's more than one way to do it. And this concludes our tutorial about creating a hole on a cylindrical face.